So, this is a pendulum squat. The reason that you have like seen and heard that it's super popular is because recently on Instagram, this is a relatively newly popular piece of equipment because several professional bodybuilders or other professional athletes have started using it. And then like anything else, people see that on Instagram and stuff and they're like, oh wow, I want to use that because that's what the pros are using. But this is a very good piece of equipment. It's so why is it different? I mean, obviously the pendulum. So other than it being a pendulum style movement, it's very, very similar to the hack squat. It's just probably a smoother movement than the hack squat. So Because it's like your body rather than the machine? Yeah. And also because it's at that rounded angle instead of it being a straight up and down that you're locked into. Um, so there's a little bit more freedom of movement, but not a ton, obviously, because you're still locked into this hinge. Yeah. But this one is notoriously difficult. One, because I, okay, so we load it from back here, just know that. <laughs> so you can load it from either one of these, and the only reason there's two of these is so you can put on a ton of plates. It doesn't really matter which one you put it on. I squat four plates, guys. Yeah. But if I saw someone doing three or four plates on this thing, I would put, be very genuinely surprised. Uh, it's very, very difficult so to do So how much this. does this weigh, like, just as it is? I actually have no idea. We might have to Google that. Yeah. Is it heavy? Do you feel like it's heavy? Let me give you a guess. Like, could you be a new person and use this? Yeah. You okay. could use this if you were new. I would say... Definitely learn how to use it first, and then worst case scenario, you go all the way down, you can't get up, have somebody spot you first of all if you're brand new and you've never used this thing before. Just anybody in the gym can spot you. But second thing, if you go all the way down and it ain't coming back up, eventually it's gonna hit a point to where you can wiggle out of this thing. Yeah, it's where it's, this is our stopper, this is our safety. Yeah, so on this one, same thing as on the hack squat, you want this thing even on your shoulders, lower back is getting pushed into this pad, grabbing up on the handles here. From there, foot position is very similar to over there. If you're trying to hit more glutes, I would go wider and a little bit higher. This will hit a lot more of my glutes. And then if you're trying to hit more quads, I would go a little bit more narrow and a little bit further down on the thing. From there, you want your head in a neutral position with your spine. So that means you don't need to be looking forward like this. You need your head to be tilted back and in line with your back. From there, you're gonna bend your knees all the way down until you get to the bottom, come back up. Show me for the booty. Higher, wider. Oh, makes it look easy with his 10 pounds. <laughs> okay. 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 We can do it. I think it's much more intimidating looking at it. No, yeah, this is a very strange looking machine. Because there's so much. This is this is the thing. Okay. And if I had to give a guess of how much that weighs right off the bat, probably a hundred, maybe 110. So if you were a short person, is this just it is what it is? Pretty much. There is another peg to put it on. Oh. So I can put that down one if you want. Oh. Got, you got this hair. Also, be very, very careful when you're doing this, when you're doing hack squats, when you're doing leg press. Do not hyperextend your leg at the top. Don't do that. Because if you have a ton of weight on there, you will fold yourself backwards like a lawn chair. Okay. So this would be our quads. Mm -hmm. And maybe we need it. <laughs> yeah, same thing. You don't want your heels coming up. Wow, you got real low. Ooh, that is way heavier yeah. and harder. Okay, so this is booty. Here. We think that's good? Yep. Yeah. So then if I wanted it shorter, okay. Yep. That is so much shorter too. Wow, okay. So also same thing as with the hack squat. If you want to adjust this foot uh, plate so where you can keep your heels down, you just come back here, you pull that pin out, and you move it up and down. Oh. See, there's so many things to this. Yeah, almost every machine in here has several moving pieces that you got to kind of either trial and error figure out or have somebody show you how to do. That is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. It's a lot heavier. I 
like it. I really like it. I'm gonna try this. Okay. 